I'm Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Cain Velasquez, the man who could be king in uh, just a couple of days. You've talked so much about how important this is for you as an individual, but also if you could express how much it means to you as a Latino and, how, and the possibilities of what you could accomplish. Just all the hard work that I put in uh, when I first got into the sport, all I thought about was being a champ. Uh, to, to get that belt, Brock has that belt, I'm going after it. Um, and also, um, you know, for, for Mexicans having a strong heritage in boxing, but not having a heavyweight champ, um, I think the people need one and it's time that we have one and, and um, I'm, I'm happy to, to have that opportunity. Yeah, I was going to say that I've actually, I covered boxing for three and a half years or so, um, and I saw the first three Vasquez Marquez fights, which were phenomenal. And that's one thing I learned covering boxing was the machismo, the never say die attitude of, of the Latino fighters. I mean, for those who don't really realize that, what, what is in your head? What is different about you guys? Um, you know, when we go into fights, um, you, you pretty much have the kills to, to, to beat us. Um, we're not going to give up. We show a lot of heart when we go out there and fight. And that, that's pretty much it, you know. We, we, that, that's how we fight. We're, we're just hot-blooded. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. What's in the water at AKA? Because you guys are just making nothing but killers up there. You know, um, AKA, is, it's, it's just a great place to train. We have a lot of great training partners. Um, we can get, you know, a national champ from wrestling, bring him in and make him a, a great MMA star. We can bring, get somebody off the street who really wants to, wants to do this sport, who has a goal in this sport, and also do the same thing with them. So that's the, that's the special thing about M, uh, AKA. Mm -hmm. And have you been gunning specifically for Brock, or is it just that you would love a championship and he's kind of this great archetypal American that just conveniently plays off of you, and that that's why it's a better fight? Um, you know, he's the number one guy right now. He has the belt, so that's, that's the guy I'm, I'm going after, definitely. And do you worry, though, about, or not worry, but you know, the whole socio-political thing that's going on with this, too, in America, with immigration, now you're taking on the big American, and you're a Latino, and do you, do you even, like, factor that in and, and, and think about that? No, I mean, it, you know, it's a fight. I mean, people can, can talk and say what else, I mean, whatever they have to say, but, I mean, it, when it comes down to it, it's a fight, and that's, that's pretty much it. People can buy into it the way they want to, but it's a fight. Well, I was at your fight before last October, and that was amazing just to be here in the house in L.A. Um, definitely you have a lot of fan support here. Certainly that's got to feel good. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, I think this is a perfect place for me to fight, um, you know, especially this fight. Mm -hmm. to, this, is, this is a yeah, the perfect place. Mm -hmm. Y yo tengo muchos fans que hablan español, o sea, I mean, I also speak Portuguese, so, uh, ¿quieres uh, decirle algo para ellos? Sí, a toda la gente, uh, este sábado voy a pelear contra Brock Lesnar, muchas gracias, y que voy a entrenar y ganar por ustedes. All right, well, thank you, gracias, and great luck to you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm Cain Velasquez, and you're watching MMA Heat.